All right, everyone, this is pike hold weight shift. So maybe you came into this handstand prep thing and everything else that I've talked about seems really, really easy to you. Or maybe you've put in a lot of work doing that other stuff. You've really loosened up your rib cage, your thorax, your upper body, and you're ready to take the next step. You're ready to get into some sort of uh, holding, some sort of loading on your hands. Um, the best way to start, in my opinion, is pikes. <clears throat> and, you know, you could do a full-on pike, but I, I think it's probably best to just, I, I should take those off, probably best to just start with, oh, I can't see the camera. I'm going to need these. Let's try it. Probably best to just start with some uh, hip shifting and go from there. So what we're doing is we start just like a... Uh, any of our all fours activities, right? So I'm gonna tuck my hips, I'm gonna find my outer lower abs, and I'm gonna push my neck away from the ground here. Now I'm gonna hang on to that and straighten my legs out. So this is part one. If I'm pretty flexible, I can step forward. Let's just, yeah, there we go. I can step forward a little bit. And I am pretty flexible, so I'm gonna keep stepping forward. And what I can do is, let's give me just a little bit more room. What I can do is shift onto my feet, my heels, and then shift onto my hands and try to just pick my feet, make my feet really light. And then shift away, get a little rest. Do it again. I was losing my ab, that felt better. So I'm gradually progressing my weight onto my hands. I'm also demanding more wrist mobility and gradually more shoulder mobility as well. Um, that's a great way to start loading your handstand positions.